Hello everyone, how are you doing? A really warm welcome and hello to regular followers of mine, uh, people that have stuck with me through thick and thin, um, times when I have covered difficult subjects, times when I have covered easy subjects, times when I have covered subjects that people want, times when I have covered subjects that people really don't. I'd just like to have uh, a moment, if you would allow me, to say what is on my heart, um, because it, it's weighing very heavy. And I have to be honest with you about how I want to do this going forward. So you may or may not know that I've been walking this path in terms of a public figure, I suppose, since 2005, really, something like that. And I've enjoyed it and I plan to still enjoy it. And I'm not about to quit, but I am going to realign and do things in a different way. And I think it is linked into the fact that I'm meant to be uh, redirecting my energy to where it is most appreciated and needed. Because the truth is, none of us are getting any younger and I have a busy life. I have a lot of responsibilities, not just that are work responsibilities, but also family and friends and myself. I'm very proud that today I've managed to lose six pounds already on my new regime. So I'm feeling a lot healthier, a lot better. But uh, mentally, I've always struggled with mental health. And I have always been somebody that has said that my greatest strength is also my greatest weakness, which is true for many of us who are empaths. Um, and that is sensitivity. You can't do this work well unless you are to a degree sensitive. And I refuse to switch that off, even if I was able to, which I can't because it's within my very DNA. It's my soul essence. It's what I came in with. And as you grow in stature as a public figure, you uh, roll with the punches. You get used to rolling with the punches. You develop a thicker skin. And I think I've done really well with that. I always remember Steve Judd's advice to me probably a decade ago. And he said, you're going to have to become much more black and white. And what he meant by that was try to lose the, just be much more rational and focused. <laughs> um, maybe I'm not explaining that very well, but I knew what he meant. In terms of dealing with people, that's what he really meant. Anyway, why I'm sitting down to talk to you this morning is I made as a decision um, with regards to the Spotlight series that I've been doing that I did in good faith um, because Archangel Metatron was asking me to do so. And I've always followed his advice and he's never steered me wrong. And he hasn't steered me wrong on this. I completely understand what he was trying to ask me to do, uh, which I did to the best of my ability, uh, which was to try and look at people with regards to their soul, whether you like them, whether you don't like them, what sort of roles they're playing, why they may be highlighting particular things, what their motivation is, etc. All well and dandy when it's somebody that maybe you like, RFK Jr., for example, being one of the uh, people at the moment in the spiritual community that people love. I love him too. But it's much harder when you are asked to look at people that you struggle with. And even as somebody who brings the information through, I had already decided that there were a couple of people out there that I knew I wouldn't be able to stay in my heart with, so I wasn't going to be spotlighting them. And if I did so, Metatron was going to really have to help me because I am the vehicle through which Metatron speaks. There's still always a bit of me in there. Of course there is. The joke is that's been doing the rounds for a long time. My friend called me Amanda Tron 
because in, interestingly today, I'm going to be re-recording the Metatron Level 1 attunement videos so the courses can go back up. And in that, I very clearly state that Metatron works with you, through you, yes, but with you. He appreciates what you have to bring to the table. And so if you ever know that there's a person that you just can't stay in your heart with, you don't do it. That's always been my motto. And the three that I've done so far, RFK Jr., Marianne Williamson, Ron DeSantis, absolutely, I was able to stay in my heart with. Um, unfortunately, a large portion of the audience was not able to do that, particularly with regards to the last video with Ron. I've just very sadly disabled the comments on it on YouTube, and I actually feel quite emotional about it. And, you know, it's not because of me. It's because I passionately care that we try to get to a place where we just understand each other. And I don't think my work is being valued. In fact, it's being trampled on. People are leaving in droves because I try to speak from the heart. And maybe I just need to have this moment to clear the air because right now, I think the answer probably is to put the work, the spotlight work onto Patreon, which I've always not wanted to do because I know people are struggling with money. Um, all my work, every single video that I've ever put out on YouTube has been free. The work I do here is free. The work on Facebook I do is free. I was actually just um, watching the Leo King's video <clears throat> with Richard Lopp this morning. He was talking about the Ten of Wands, and this is Ten of Wands energy, which is just that it feels so bloody difficult to carry on with this particular spotlight series, because I just don't think people are getting it. Not enough people are getting it. And some are. Some of you are watching this, and I really appreciate you. But I think our work might be better served behind a protected wall. Because from my perspective, I am just sick to death of being the whipping boy for other people's hate. Um, people aren't even bothering to watch the video. They're just coming on to spew their hatred towards this man. But if it wasn't him, it could easily be somebody else. Take it away from politics, it could easily be somebody else. I wanted to do JFK rolling, um, but that's a no-go publicly. I'm not going to do that now. I wanted to do Trump. I was struggling with doing Biden, to be perfectly honest, but I would have done if I could have stayed in my heart space. Um, but I think it's going to have to be behind a private wall now. And that really saddens me because it means that some people aren't going to be able to reach it. Um, and you might say, just turn the comments off. But the point is that these videos, I put them out with the right intention, people just walk away from the channel. People just unsubscribe, they unfollow. And I tell you what, 10 of one's energy, any YouTuber that's out there, any person that's on social media knows how bloody hard it is to build a channel up. Even somebody like myself in the position that I'm in, I'm in it's still hard. It's really hard going. It's hard going with censorship. It's hard going with the sensitivities that are out there. It's hard going right now to stay in your heart. And that is what I'm upset about. So um, I have got myself all dolled up in orange today to record this level one video. And I am going to do it because this is the other aspect of it. I'm doing it today because tomorrow I can't. Um, because there's other stuff going on. I only have certain days where I can film. I only have a certain amount of fuel in my tank. And... Um, to see the work ripped to sheds and spat upon and worse, people then assuming that anything that comes through in a psychic reading, which is what it is, a soul psychic reading, has to be absolutely what I agree with 100%. I, I just don't know how we get out of the classroom, guys. And I'm not attacking you because you, that's why I'm saying this here and not on YouTube. You are my most, most um, faithful followers here on Instagram and Facebook. And um, without you, I wouldn't be able to do this. What upsets me the most, guys, is that, and this is being really honest, the last couple of years, uh, if you followed me, I think you've, if, particularly if you're sensitive, 
you have probably seen that I've been struggling a little bit um, with with menopause that is an absolute bloody killer. <laughs> okay, as a woman, it's a huge change, <clears throat> and it knocked it's knocked me sideways which is why I'm on this new path now of regaining my health and my fitness. And I'm doing quite well with it. But this Spotlight series was the first thing since the Heart Squad that I really felt passionate about. And I really felt it brought the spark back. It was like I was really enjoying doing the videos. And it just feels like it's all been, um, it's been ruined. And maybe the, I just have to learn from this, that you can't put certain stuff out anymore on YouTube in a public platform that is of a certain vibration that is asking people to try and go higher when so many people just want to stay lower. And yeah, that is how I'm feeling today. So um, I'm going to redirect my energy to where it is appreciated and needed. And I do think there's a group of you that are very committed to try to walk this path with me, to try to follow the Violet Pill teachings, um, to try our best, basically, to listen, including to people that we really don't like. Um, if we go to Ron, the stuff about his politics I really don't like, I don't agree with at all. Um, but I never brought any of that through in the reading because... It wasn't about my opinion. It was what I was picking up about him energetically. And I stand by every word I said. I stand by every word I said with regard to Marianne. I stand by every word I said with RFK. But yeah, Ron's John, Ron has joined the list of, uh, I think, only three videos that I've ever had to turn the comments off on YouTube. The other was Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, Michelle Obama, um, I think I turned them off on a Harry and Meghan video as well once. And I really, it really bothers me when I turn off comments because it feels as though I'm switching off the community. But when the community is just, well, Metatron said it best. I think it was in the June video. He said there was a rot and a disease in the heart of the spiritual community. Because, guys, if we can't do it, who the hell is going to be able to do it? Just go out there into your street, into your town, into your community. There is so much disruption, so much chaos. So many people who don't even know that they need to stay in their heart or what that even means. We do. And sometimes we fail. I guess we've just got to get back up on that horse. So, yeah, not today, but at some point I'm going to explore Patreon, something I said I would never do. Uh, I will still keep the free videos coming on here. I will still keep the free videos coming on Facebook. I will still keep the free videos coming on YouTube. Um, but anything that is controversial, um, and that doesn't mean, oh, look at, you know, 4C or whatever he's called, you know, not controversial in that sense, controversial in the sense of, can we try and stay in our hearts with this? Thich Nhat Hanh, what would you do if you were sat beside Osama, Osama Bin Laden? I would listen, I would profoundly listen. And I thank you to the great masters, such as Thich Nhat Hanh, Jesus, who taught that. And I am unapologetically about that and if that triggers you it triggers you there's nothing more i can say thank you thank you thank you to the ones that get this thank you for listening i'm now going to go and have my healthy breakfast and get on with my day lots of love bye for now bye <laughs>